KMY News. This is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. The rain has lightened up considerably across the Twin Tiers tonight. Earlier on this evening had pockets of very heavy rain. Reports of some thunder and lightning as well. It's much lighter in intensity right now, and it should remain that way for most moving forward through the rest of the overnight period. Uh, Crystal City Sky Cam right now showing some wet roadways, a bit of fog starting to form, and that could become a little bit dense here as we go through the overnight period tonight. Now, as far as the almanac goes today, had a high temperature earlier on of 81 degrees, so well above average. Normal high this time here about 75. And we started the day off at 58, which is also above average for this time of year. Now at the Elmira Recording Regional Airport this evening, picking up about two thirds of an inch of rain. A lot of that fell within just a, an hour's time frame. So a lot of rain in a short amount of time. However, the good news is the areas that were hardest hit Sunday night, Tioga County, New York, Bradford County, Pennsylvania, they were spared uh, from the rain earlier on. We had a batch come through western sections and then pretty much lift north and east uh, through Steuben County, Chemung County, and then up towards the Finger Lakes area. The darker shaded green areas indicate where a half an inch to an inch of rain fell. So there were some pockets of heavy rain, especially uh, northern sections of Tioga County in and around the Lawrenceville area and then up towards Corning. And again, a lot of that fell in a short amount of time, but things have lightened up. Nonetheless, we still have a flood advisory in effect overnight tonight for uh, Tioga and Bradford counties in the northern tier and Tioga County in the southern tier. Again, the heaviest rain to our north and east, lighter rains to the west. But we are tracking some flash flood warnings just north of Washington, D.C. And our latest guidance showing that some of these showers may actually clip eastern sections of Bradford County through the overnight period tonight. So not quite out of the woods just yet in Bradford County, even though you missed out on the heavier rains from earlier tonight. You can see the yellows and the reds again racing off towards the north and east. And at this hour, just some lighter rains falling across our region. So here we go, 2 o'clock in the morning. Get ready, New Albany over towards Tawanda. It's going to be a close call with the showers right now near Harrisburg. They're going to lift off towards the north, northeast, and they may skirt through eastern sections of Bradford County. So again, the flood watch continues overnight tonight and into daybreak tomorrow morning. Still some showers in Bradford County, but look how quickly we start to dry things out. So we will trend towards partly sunny skies for our Wednesday. And we'll be looking at temperatures topping out in the upper 60s and lower 70s. So about 10 degrees cooler than where we were today. We'll see a big drop in humidity as well. 79 is what we forecast today. We topped out at 81. 60 tonight. We've already had some heavy rain, just some lighter rains for most now moving forward. Early showers still possible tomorrow morning, then becoming partly sunny. We're dry Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And our next chance for rain, not until early next week.